by everyone. Yes, I did fall victim to buying a sunset lamp. Probably food on my shirt too, because I just had dinner and that's just how I live my life. Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another video. If you don't know me, my name is Jess and I'm a final year veterinary student. This past week has been my first ever week in a veterinary hospital. Hospital. I'm actually kind of working as a veterinarian, uh, which is bizarre. So I thought I would talk to you about what's been going on, what I've been doing at the moment, and how everything's been going because I've been in the hospital for a whole week now. I just got home from my Friday night shift and I just thought I would talk to you about how my first week in the hospital has gone because it's been a big shock to the system and I just wanted to fill you in. Massey University is the university that I go to and we have a teaching hospital which is basically a fully equipped like specialist hospital. They have a referral surgery team, they have specialist anaesthetists, they do oncology, there's imaging specialists and it's been a real shock because until this year I had never really been in the hospital before. Like you get to go into the hospital for some classes and stuff but you're not really fully immersed in, in the ICU or the anesthesia department. So my first ever clinical rotation for this year is um, referral surgery and medicine. So I did surgery this past week and I'm switching over to the medicine team this coming week and then I'm switching back over to the surgery team. I got there at mon on Monday morning, I think I arrived just after 7.30. We pick up pages, so we have pages like any other medical professional who works in a hospital. Um, they're just little Nokia phones. And then we started rounds at eight. Rounds is basically where you have all the surgeons and the surgery team and then all the students that you're with, they allocate cases. So when we arrived on Monday morning, there was only four cases. All I was told was the name of the patient. The surgery nurse was like, okay, patient A, they gave me a name and I was like, yeah, sure, I'll put my hand up and I'll do that case. And then the surgery nurse goes, cool, you'll be going into theater in an hour. And then afterwards you have to look after the patient and do a surgery report. And this is my very first day of being in the Massey Hospital. Like I had no idea what to expect. I felt very overwhelmed. So this dog had its gallbladder removed, which was quite interesting. Like it was really interesting to see. They were pressed for time, so unfortunately I couldn't really do much but it was really good to just be involved on my very first day. And then on Tuesday, I had a consult and you get to do a full extensive history with a client and also a physical exam on the animal. And there's no clinician in the room, like it's literally just you and the animal and the owner. And so you have to basically be the full veterinarian. It went really well, like I was really happy with it and then reported back to the surgeon about what's going on. So you present the signalment, like you'd say, Poppy is a two-year-old golden retriever presenting with blah, blah, blah. And then you tell the surgeon all about what you've found on your history and your physical exam. And then you give a rough idea of what you'd like to do with the patient. So oh, I think I'd like to refer this patient for emergency surgery, or I think this patient needs imaging to figure out the, the rest of the problem. And then you go back to the room with the client and the surgeon and discusses what they want to do. My patient that I had on Tuesday was admitted for surgery and we did the surgery on the Wednesday and I got to help out quite a bit, which was really cool. I got to do some stitching up and yeah, it was really fun. I really enjoyed that. And then I got to discharge the patient back to the owner on Thursday. So I saw the case the whole way through. I thought it was really rewarding and I really liked just interacting with the client. I gave them like a call every day and it was really amazing feeling like I'm the doctor in charge of this patient. Like it was really, really cool. And then Friday, I scrubbed into another surgery. It was an emergency surgery. It was a dog attack. And I just spent my morning doing notes and then got scrubbed into an emergency surgery. So throughout the week, you have to do one like treatment shift and there's like nighttime shifts. And then on the weekend, there's weekend shifts. My very first day was very, very overwhelming. Like I, just remember being so stressed and I got home at the end of the day which I think was maybe 6, 6.30 and I cried but I'm the type of person that I just I get really sad when I'm really tired and stressed so I was just really tired and really stressed and I thought I was going to hate this roster apparently everyone feels that way on their first day 
most people even feel like that on their second day and their third day but eventually like by Thursday I was feeling really comfortable around the hospital I still don't know where everything is I still don't know who everyone is I've actually started really really enjoying it I nearly got emotional on Wednesday because I just think it's so cool the profession that I'm going into Sorry, my brain just feels fried. I've just had such a big week. But um, thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you've enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions about what it's like being a vet in a veterinary hospital or what to expect or whatever. Let me know in the comments down below. And I will see you next time.